So we're going to find a percentage of a number. So we're going to find 15% of 800. What you've got to remember is that 100% is equal to 800. And what you do is you basically use that to try and find other percentages that are going to help you find 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find 10% first. So 10% of 800 is going to be 80. Just divide it by 10. Then what I'm also going to do is I'm also going to find 5%. Okay, so 5% is going to be half of 10%. So half of 80 is 40. So then what I've got is I want 15%. So I just add, add 10 and 15. So 80 plus 40 is 120. So we've got 120 pounds is 15% of 80. Okay. So for the second one, we want 42% of 1,700. So I'm going to start with 100% equals 1,700 or 1,700 then 10% is going to be 170 and 1% is going to be 17 okay so we've got 10% and 1% I'm going to try and find 40% okay so 40% is going to be the 10 times 4 so I'm going to times 170 by 4 so 4 times 0 is 0 4 times 7 is 28. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. So 40% is 680. And I'm also going to find 2%. Okay, so 2% is going to be 1% times 2. So that's going to be 34. So get 42% is going to be 680 plus 34, which is 714. And remember it's in pounds, so pounds. Right, example three. Tim has paid £1,450 a month. His salary is set to increase by 5.5%. What is his new salary? So in applications, um, it's good to always try and do as much of it without a calculator as you can, especially when you're practicing. I am going to do this one example with a calculator, just so you, you know how to do it. And so if we've got 1450 and I want to increase by 5.5%, what you do is you take the amount that you start with and you always divide by 100. So no matter what the percentage is you're increasing or decreasing by, you, you always divide by 100. And so that will give me 14.5. And then what you do is you take that number and you times it by the percentage that you're finding. So it could be if you were doing 15%, we would times it by 15. If it was 30%, we'd times it by 30. But in this case, we're going to times it by 5.5. And that's going to tell me how much it's increasing by. So 14.5 times 5.5 is 79.75. And what we're then going to do is add that number to 1,450 to get his total amount after the increase. Which is... Uh, sorry, which is 1,529.75. Example four, length and breadth of a rectangular garden is five meters by nine meters. Find the area of the garden as part A. So this is a quite a typical apps question just to break it down into a couple of parts. So the area is equal to length times breadth. So it's five times nine. So it's 45 meters squared. To resurface the grass, it costs 750 for every 10 meters squared of garden. Um, but as but there's a deal to get 12% off your final price. What does it cost to resurface the garden? So first thing we've got to figure out how many 10 centimeter squares we've got. Well, because we're at 45, we're actually going to need five of them, five 10 meter squares. So I'm going to do five times 7.50. Okay, which is 37.50. And then what we've got is got to take 12% off that. Okay, so I'm going to do 37.50. Divided by 100 times by 12. And that gives me £4.50. So that's how much they're going to get off the price. So the work how much it's going to cost is you do 37 pounds 50 take away 4 pounds 50 Okay, which is £33. Pounds.